Okay, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Superman Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to do is to continue our script, uh, programming tutorials for BACnet controllers, specifically B3 devices by Snyder. Okay, now, guys, uh, in the previous tutorial, I said I'm going to uh, generate another run hours or run time, but this time this is for sequencing. Okay. Now, sequencing is the one that will automatically change over these two funds when we put it in automatic operation. Okay, by the way, we are running it in manual. As you can see here, it is in manual, then I'm running it manually. Okay, now, guys, uh, I will try to show you the how are you going to generate this EF1 and EF2 sequence hours. Okay, so let's go to my script program i already open it okay then let me just new share okay now i'm in my script editor okay now everything is working fine here as you can see my binding variables since it is running now it's accumulating okay so what we will do here is we will inject we will use this we have our uh what did i use here ef1 rt rt runtime okay now, uh, maybe I will change this to EF1RT. I will change this to um, SE, SEQ. Okay, so that is EF1RT. Okay, so let's use underscore there. Okay, so I will change this one. Then uh, this one is RT sequence also. Okay, then our output, we need to add some output here okay then uh, ef1 runtime okay ef1 sequence hours okay hours then ef2 sequence hours okay so that is my numeric output then I already have my numeric input. Okay. So what we are going to do here is this. Okay. But first, before I continue, let me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, guys. Uh, let me go back to my uh, server. Okay. Now, uh, let me change my share so that you will see what I'm doing. Okay. Now, actually, what I'm going to do here. Okay, now I need to add, uh, I need to add, let me see if this one will not make any error. Okay, I need to add new values, okay, new value, okay, so I will backnet analog value, this one I will say EF1 uh, sequence power hours okay next create then i will create another okay create another value uh, this time another value so this one is ef2 sequence hours okay create Okay, I have created those points. I will go back to my uh, script editor. Okay. Now, okay. Now, actually, uh, if EF1 run, then I have here, this is for my runtime accumulated hours, okay, for the maintenance purposes. Now, here, I need to do the same thing, okay. So what I will do here is I will say uh, e, e okay wait a minute I will use my uh, e f one r t sequence is equals to uh, e f one r t sequence okay. Ah, okay. I need a. Uh, I need to add some information here. EF 
one uh, sequence. Okay, just to make it different, we have to sequence time. Okay, so that one. Uh, okay, it's equals to E F one uh, sequence time. Yes. E F one. Why I don't have it here? Okay, E F one sequence. It's not get there because. Uh, okay, and we have one sequence time. Okay, then copy this. We have one RP sequence equals. Okay, this is the part two. Accumulated one. We have we one. Okay, pass num bal to num bal, okay, num bal, num bal, okay, okay, then throw it back, okay, EF, EF1. Uh, that is where the F1 sequence hour. The F1 sequence hours. Okay. The F1 sequence hours. Okay. Equals to the F1 sequence RT. Where is That is one. RT sequence. Okay. Then let's put some. Likewise, in EF2, we will do the same. I don't know if I can copy this. Let's see if I can copy this. Control C. We will see if I will be allowed to do this copy paste here. Okay, but this time change this to to to. Uh, this is the beauty if you are naming your variables like this. It will be very easy for you to change the variable or the identifier okay now what we will do we will do the let me save it first okay as i said when you are saving it do not interrupt it okay that the saving process complete its work okay now i have a binding error here let me go to the input okay now i have here if ef1 sequence time Okay, now I will bind it to my uh, variable you created in my. Uh, okay, so this is the one. Select value, select it there. Okay, likewise. Okay. Okay. EF2. Okay, so that will be for EF2. Where are you? Two. Okay. Select. Then how about the output? Likewise, you have to do the same thing. You have to do the same thing. Okay. Now EF1 sequence power select. Okay. Then this one also. That is for EF2. Okay. EF2 sequence hours. Okay. Now let's do the saving again. You we'll see, uh, save. Let's see if there's no more error. There's no more uh, error there. Saving successful. Okay. Now, as you can see here, I have there already the sequence time is already uh, accumulating also. Now, uh, okay, it seems it's okay. Now we will go here. We will go back to our. Uh, We'll go back to our server. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is the one. Now sequence hours is already accumulating. Let's show also. Okay, so this is the one. Okay. Okay, it's now point zero one, point zero one. Now, uh, 
uh, we need to do, okay, let's open this in new window so that we will be able to see. Now the problem here, we have not yet binded the point, okay? So here, this is not binded, right? This is not binded. So, so my ER2 is already running for three hours. This one is 0.3 hours. Okay, now let me do the binding here. Bind. So edit binding. We need to tell our graphics object where it will get the real-time values. Okay, so this is the one. We don't have any binding here. Okay, so let me just go this way. Okay, then go up. Okay, back net interface. Network, go to the controller, okay, application, under application, you have to look for the uh, EF1 sequence hours, just click and drop, okay. Then, okay, where is EF2 sequence hours? I have this one graphic here also. Then always don't forget to save so that it will be reflected there. Okay, uh, let me refresh my graphics. Okay. And optimize for my actually point zero two. Okay. We need to go to point uh by R. Okay. Still too small. Okay, so let's just wait for some time before it will be displayed here, okay? Now, guys, the purpose, by the way, let me reiterate, the purpose of this sequencing time is to uh, have an actual uh, change over between our duty and standby, okay? We can say our duty is uh, F1, then after some time, EF2 should kick in, okay? Now, let me see. It's okay, it's already 0.5. Now, if we go to 0.06, it will be uh, rounded to 0.1, okay? So, just give me some, okay? Now, uh, so guys, you have seen already the, okay, now it's already there. Sequencing time is 0.1.5, okay? So, okay, so this is how you are going to uh, create another uh, uh, sequencing. Now, you you might ask me, what is the difference between the two of two run hours? Okay, this one is for the sequencing, the sequencing hours, and this one is run hours, run hours for the maintenance purposes. Okay, maybe I will uh, I will try to rename this uh, identify uh, uh, description to EF1 run hours accumulation or accumulated, okay? So later I will show it uh, in the next tutorial. So to wrap it up, what we have done is we tried to create uh, another monitoring point. This time this is for sequencing for the change, automatic change over of the two bands. Okay, so we want to provide equal wear and tear in both funds. So we need to do some uh, automatic sequencing, which we will, which we had, which we will uh, generate in our uh, in our script program. Okay, so it will be a series of script programming. Okay, until we. Uh, completely or satisfied finish the automatic operation of these two. So what are those? We will provide here some maintenance alarm, sequencing, then uh, I have here operator force to start, okay, the operator can stop it, then the operator can force to run the other fund, okay, then we have also the time schedule. We will do the time schedule, this fund will not run, if it's not in the time schedule, then operator enable, when operator can turn off these two equipment remotely, okay? So then when there's fire, these two equipment should stop also. So those things we need to incorporate in our script programming, which I'm about to, to show you in the upcoming video tutorial. So once again, thank you very much for watching this short video clip. And I do hope I'm helping those new engineers who are wishing to join building management system or building automation. Please 
uh, help me in promoting my channel by subscribing. You can always like, put your comments, and you can share the video. And please tell your friends, your technical people friends, that I have a free tutorial for those who are wishing to join this exciting field of engineering. Once again, before I will end, thank you very much. God bless us all. And bye for